This one's a little different, and it requires a lot more steps than normal. This is a rayon dress from Peaceful People, and they have a lot of nice rayon dresses at a really good price. So check them out. Okay, it's been soda ashed for about 15 minutes. And with rayon, you want to limit the soda ash exposure, or it can start eating through the fabric. Uh, it's been spun to a damp state, and we'll go ahead and start. I'll go ahead and pick a spot to start with. And let's see. Let's go right up here. So I'll try to flatten that out a little. And then go ahead and spiral this in. And spirals on rayon are a little challenging, as is most of the stuff. Tying rayon can become very difficult. You can tear through the fabric very quickly. Especially if you're using sinew, it'll rip straight through it. So let's go ahead and do this. And then I'll go ahead and tie this off. I'm only going to do a few ties, basically enough to get the three positions for the spiral. Actually, I'm going to go with four for this one. And one more. Okay, so I'll take this off to dye. So over the course of this design, we'll be using turquoise, Chinese red, and lemon yellow. Now we'll start with the turquoise on this. So you just pick one of the sections. and try to keep it just within that section. And then I'm going to apply the ice. Now since Now since there isn't dye all the way around, it is going to bleed outside of that area. Like for instance that, I've already got it over there. It's okay, because it's a nice dye, and that's what happens. So we'll let that sit, and then we'll come back and maybe do the other side, or maybe proceed. Kind of depends what it looks like on the back side. I ended up not doing the second side since it bled through so much. We'll go ahead and wash this out and take a look. Let's take a look. So here's what we have. I'm going to go ahead and wash this out completely, dry it, and then we'll go on to the next step. This is the dress after it's been dried. So I'll go ahead and put this in soda ash for just a few minutes, 
ring it out, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, the dress is very damp, and I'm going to pick another spot. I think I'll come right about here. Go ahead and start twirling that up. I'm going to flip that over and check that because I didn't think that was lining up very good since it's off to the side. Okay, take that off to die. Okay, so... Let's go with yellow for this pass. Okay, we'll let that sit until it melts through. Actually, we'll let that sit for probably a full 24 hours and then wash it out like the first pass. It's been about 24 hours, so let's wash it out. Let's take a look. So I'll wash this out completely and then we'll go to the next step. So here's the dress after it's been dried completely. That's the front and there's the back side. So I'll go ahead and add soda ash real quick and then we'll do the last step. Okay, so it's damp, and I was trying to decide where to put the spiral, and I think I'm actually going to come over onto the side. And do it down here, maybe at the bottom is the starting point. See if I can pull this down. I 
Let's try that again. Okay. Let's move the camera a little. I'm going to start here for the spiral, and we'll see how that goes. Pull that out. I'm going to pull this one a little tighter. There we go. Okay. Add the rubber bands. Flip that over, take a look. Tuck this one little guy back under. Okay, take this off to die again. Okay, so we're going to do red for the last pass. And I'll let that sit for 18 to 24 hours, and then we should be able to do the final washout. It's been 24 hours, so let's wash it out. Okay, let's take a quick look. And I'll wash this out, and then we'll take a look at the whole thing.